Another myth that gets us in a lot of trouble in healthcare is the myth that people behave badly when they're sick. Um, is that true? You know, I've spent uh, over 20 years working in healthcare, but also as a healthcare consumer. I once spent a month myself in a hospital recovering from a painful orthopedic surgery. I was married to a woman for 20 years who had a serious and chronic healthcare condition that was very painful um, before she died. And uh, I spent a lot of time sleeping on hospital floors and in chairs. I also have a son who had several surgeries when he was young, has lifelong uh, healthcare challenges. And so I've spent a lot of time in hospitals as a consumer. But in all those years, in all those trying circumstances, I never threatened or yelled at or spit on or shoved a nurse. Does that make me special? Um, in reality, most of the people that come to our hospital um, are cooperative and grateful to be there. Yeah, they're sick and under stress, but they know where they need to be and they know how to behave in that environment. It's only a small number of people who behave badly, so we have to remind ourselves that of that. And we have to learn to focus, not just on the people who are behaving badly, but all of our patients, and to set limits on bad behavior. When people are in crisis, they are in pain, they've just learned some bad news, they're gonna exhibit crisis behavior. My husband has cancer? I can't believe this. These are crisis behaviors. You're gonna see people are gonna curse, they're gonna melt down. Not everybody's behaved that way. Some people are gonna become depressed, they're gonna cry. Some people are gonna be very reserved and internalize everything. When we see people in genuine crisis, we do have to learn to de-escalate. Non-escalation is a basis for everything that we do. But when people aren't managing people in crisis, we have to learn specific skills to de-escalate. We have to learn to reduce all that stimulation to manage the environment that they're in. All these people, all this light, all this sound. We have to adapt our communication for their needs. We have to use one voice. We have to reverse yell. We have to exhibit the behavior for them that we need to see from them because all behavior equalizes. And finally, we have to learn to manage their urgent unmet need. Because people act out for a reason, not because of a diagnosis tired, cold, hungry, thirsty, in fear, in pain, lonely. Right? They have an unmet need. And we learn to de-escalate well. We learn to non-escalate well. We manage these four levels of crisis and bring people back out of crisis and into recovery.